Hello everyone, Polis Rash here, and I, one of my last videos, Ninja Star 64 suggests that I do college players versus CHL players. I'm going to expand on this and have all four major North American Junior Leagues in one conference, and then all eight major European Leagues in the other conference. If a player has played in more than one Junior League, they will be eligible for the league in which they have played more games. As an example, Duncan Keefe has played 56 games in the NCAA and 37 WHL games, so he is eligible for Team NCAA. And as always, I'm not perfect. If I forget a player or you don't agree with my roster choices, leave it in the comments below. Let's get into the rosters. Here is our NCAA team. As you can see, very good all around. All first lines, defense, top two pairings. And in net, they got two all-star goalies in Corey Schneider and Ben Bishop. Now for our OHL team, who have probably the best centers in the tournament. Defense, very good defensively. And in net, they got two young goalies in Gibson and Mrazek. Now our QMJHL team, as you can see, all very good around, except they got a cheater on the first line. Defense, very good defensively, kind of trails off though. And in net, they got Flurry starting with Lulongo as the backup. And the last team in our North American Conference is the WHL, as you can see, also are putting out an all-star roster here. Very good. Defense, no 90s, but still all top two pairings. And in that, they got the best goaltending in the tournament in Carey Price and Brendan Holpe. All right, now here's the bracket for the North American Conference. In the first game, the OHL will take on the Q, and in the second game, the NCAA will take on the WHL. Let's get right into the first game. Alright everyone, time for the first game of the tournament here. On the right in the orange jerseys we have the OHL and on the left in the white jersey we have the QMJHL. Uh, let's go. Marchand. Yandel. Order! And they score on a cross creaser. As always. Sad comes in one on two. Gives it over and Fleury makes the save. Up to Patrick Kane now. Kane's looking for something to do. Oh he dangles. He gets it over to Subin. Subin shoots and Fleury makes the save. Varys. And he gets hit off the puck. Yandel has it behind his own net. He gets it to Marchand. Brendan Sad. Over in front and they score. Easy goal there and it's tied 1-1 now. Carries it into the offensive zone. He's trying to get it over. Can't know what they did actually do. And Perry, oh, yeah, P.A. Parento buries it. 2-1 for the QMJHL. Uh, QMJHL. Vorchuk <laughs> comes in. He's got help. Crosby puts it on that and Marazic makes the save. 6.6 .6 left. Sagan can't get it over. Sagan gets it back and he scores. Sagan ties it up after taking it away and it's 2 2. P.A. Parento gets it destroyed, but they still get it up to Bergeron. Bergeron does a little dangle, can't get anything with it. Looking for someone to pass here, gives it to Vlasic, who shoots and scores! Over to Petrangelo, burns the, oh no, Stamkos gets it. He loads up, and it's in! Wait, no, they're waving it off. What are they calling here? I think it's high stick? Not sure, there's no way it can be goaltender interference, so it must be high stick. And here's the ruling on the goal. It's a good goal, we got a tie game. P.A. Parento. Over to Dowdy. Dowdy gets hit in his own zone. Bergeron in front of the block. Puck still loose. And oh, how did that not go in? Mrazek, I guess, makes a great save where they shot it right into him. Classic. Latang. Latang scores! And it's over. The Q is moving on. They beat the OHL by a final score of 4 to 3. Oh, so the Q moves on. Wow. That's an upset right there. All right, time for the second game of the tournament. On the right in the blue jerseys, we got the WNCAA. And on the left in the white jerseys, we got the WHL. Let's go. It's in front and they score easily off. Pretty nice goal there. <sighs> One nothing for the WHLers. Over, Patrick Marlaz. He gets it in front. Oh, what a great save. Stone. Brent Seabrook. Loads it up on that and a weird shot there, but Seabrook makes the or wait, <laughs> Schneider makes the save. He gets it in front and McDonough steals it. Two minutes left. Oh, Stone gives it up to Stone and they score. Oh, that was a weird sequence there. Couldn't get my words out. But yes, 2-0 for the WHLers off a bad turnover by Shattenkirk. And college players, no, well, yes, they do win the battle there. In front! And he buries it. They finally get on the board and it's 2-1 WHL. 
Brent Seabrook. Over and they score! They, uh, they're back up by two as it's 3-1 now for the WHL. He's carrying it all around. Gets left, gets it in front, and gets left, buries it. 4-1 for the WHL now. He gets it over to Getzlap, and this one just goes wider than that. Getzlap behind his own net. He throws it in front to Ben, and it's in! 5-1 now for the WHLers, and this one's over. Over, and again, they score. 5, wait, no, that's 6-1 uh, now for the WHLers. Wow, this one's, uh, this one's getting ugly. Morgan Riley shoots, and oh, it's still loose, and yep, another one. 7-1 for the WHLers. Zero third period shots here for the college boys. That's where we sit. Oh, that is awful. Seabrook. Tyson Berry. Ryan Suter gets it away from him. And they finally carry it up. Two minutes. Can they get their first shot with two minutes? Yep. Oh, no. It misses the net. Still zero shots in the third period. Pavelski in front. They miss it. Still zero shots as Stone carries it out. Stone. He's going to throw it across. Tyson Berry walks in and this one gets saved. Ryan Cedar, come on at least guys, get a shot in the third period. Do something. Uh, he gets hit off the puck and no, uh, yep, they're going to get it out again. Marlowe gets over to Stone and he does a dangle for some reason and they get it out. 40 seconds remain. Stone's trying to throw it in that. He gets it over to Barry who, his shot gets blocked, but they still have the puck. Stone, keep it in, lad. Takes a hit to keep it in, Stone. Seabrook puts it in front, and Bishop covers it up. He dangles through, and this one misses nuts. That's Johnny Gaudreau. They finally get a shot in the third period. Congrats to them. Ten seconds remain now. Ryan Getzlap carries it up. Jamie Ben. Dustin Bufflin fires it, misses the net. Three, two, one, zero. And there is your final. The WHL is moving on to the championship as they beat the college players 7-1. I hold 10 shots in the game for the college boys and oh this was this was ugly. So both the Q and the WHL advance, whoever wins that game gets to play the top Euro League. Whoever loses gets to play the second best Euro League. Time for the championship game here. On the right in the blue jerseys we have the WHL and on the left in the white jerseys we have the Q. Let's go! Often keeps stopping. He's trying to force it over. They do, and it's in. One nothing for the Q. He carries it. Plastic loads it up on that, and his shot gets blocked by Weber, who gets it up to Jamie Ben. And this is a two on one if Ben would just skate. Johansson. Oh, they get it back to Everly. Ooh, oh, his shot gets rejected by Flurry. Johnson now. Over, and they score. They tied up 1 1 on a cross creaser. Barry blasted. And then it goes in off a tip in. Jordan Everly tips it in front and it is now 2-1 for the WHLers. His shot though gets tipped and it gets hit in the corner where Hoffman picks it up. Back to Latang. Voracek. Oh, Voracek gets hit on the net but he still keeps the puck. In front to Hoffman. Crosby gets it and he buries it. And they tie it up. 2-2. Sidney Crosby. Yandel. Loads it up on net and this one gets blocked. Voracek. Latang. They get it in front. Oh, this one almost goes off its own player. And in and there it is. Crosby puts him up. 3-2 for the Q now with 8 minutes to go. WHL now down by 1. They're back up with their first lead since the second period. Stone. They get it over and there we go. We're tied up. 3-3. Three, three. He gets it over to Ben and Fleury has to make the save with 5 minutes left. He carries up. He can't get it down low as Bufflin steals it from him. Up to Weber now. Jamie Ben, oh, this could have been trouble there. Everle. They get it over to Ben in front. Oh, and he just wastes a shot on a weak backhander. They throw it behind the net to get it out, and. Pierre Parento, can he get it out? He does, up to Bergeron. 10 seconds remain, and Bergeron throws it out of the zone. Everle has it now. Weber. Everle gets it back. Time for one last shot here. They try to get over the can't. Yandel gets destroyed in front of his own net, and Flurry has to cover that up, and that is the end. We're going to overtime. Got slap. Gets it over. Oh, and a good save there by a flurry in overtime. Johansson gives it and puts it off front and he scores! Huge shot there from Dustin Bufflin and it's over. And OT, the winner is the WHL and they're going to play the winner of the Euro Conference. 20 shots 
to 15. Hits 6-5 and they win in every category. So everyone, the Euro Conference video will be in part two of this and then there will be a part three where we'll see the championship. Thanks for watching. If you have a suggestion for what I should do next time, leave it in the comments below and bye. Bye. Ooh, my voice is running low already.